Hi, we're here with Barbara Paldus, the CEO of Finesse. Barbara, can you tell me a little bit about Finesse and what you do for the company? Sure. Um, I'm one of the co-founders along with Dr. Selker. Uh, we founded the company in 2005 and we are the people for bioprocess automation. We've developed single-use sensors, electrochemical sensors, as well as automation systems for upstream bioprocessing. And at Interfex, we're going to be launching some new products. Can you talk to us a little bit about these new products that you're launching here? So we are launching a rocker platform, as well as what we call a universal controller and our glass system. And what these are are lab scale uh, devices that people can use to develop either cell culture or fermentation processes. So we see a lot of um, rockers in the market. What makes this one different? Uh, the primary difference is that it has integrated single-use sensors that work and don't drift. Those are at the bottom of the bag so we can't see them. The other primary differences are that the heating is more uniform. It was designed specifically for the rocker and we can run it for different speeds. So if the cells need more oxygen, we can actually agitate more aggressively and give them more oxygen. What types of challenges do you see in bioprocess R&D and process development? Uh, biggest challenges today are budgets. Uh, people are trying to get more control for less money. And one of the reasons we are launching the universal control platform that we see behind here is so that people can start focusing on their lab as points of control rather than points of specific processes. Then they can have a closet or um, a basically a collection of rockers and glass fermenters that they can move in and out. And so it's a different paradigm for doing R&D. So Barbara, how are finesse single-use sensors different? Uh, finesse single-use sensors are not based on the fiber optic principle. They're based on free space optics. And you can think of them as a water pool at the end of a wall. And if you spray water on the wall and you put the pool at the bottom of the wall, you collect all the water as opposed to trying to get the water back in the hose, which is the problem with fiber optics. That reduces the drift, makes the sensors far more reliable, and allows them to be used for longer process time. And are you seeing a demand for single-use systems at a larger scale? We absolutely are. In fact, we came to the R&D scale that you're seeing here at a much later stage. We actually started out in CGMP single-use, and last year we saw the highest demand ever for systems from the 50-liter scale to the 2,000-liter scale. So we think single-use is actually a big technology of the future. Great. Thanks, Barbara. To find out more, visit finesse.com.